hi welcome to my channel it's Pippa and um, I'm going to show you my unboxing of my very first diamond art club this box arrived yesterday and as I told some of the girls on Facebook I had to crack I had to collect a bed so I couldn't open it yesterday and then my daughter who is one decided that she wanted to be awake um, and I then didn't get to record getting into this baby that I have heard so much about. Oh, looking forward to seeing this. Alright, I ordered three kits. I ordered Gator Swan, um, I Miss You, and Shepherd's Cottage from Diamond Art Club. I'm in Australia, um, so getting them here is a bit of an ordeal. This is Gator Swamp. Gator Swamp is actually a landscape picture. This is Shepherd's Cottage. Again, a landscape picture. And the last one is I Miss You. I hope I never actually have a daughter who needs this, but this is I miss you and I just loved the image. Let me get this big box out of the way. Some other date I'll show you my workspace. It's um fairly compact and um it works for me. I'm going to do this video in three parts. I'm actually going to unbox one at a time so I can kind of keep some semblance of order here. Um so I'll start with I miss you seeing it's on my desk. And yet the plastic is always the um, interesting bit. I'm sorry if I take things off camera a little bit too much. But I have got somewhat restricted space. Here we go. There is the canvas. And here are the drills. Oh my gosh. I love Mandy Manzano's work. I love the colours. And the colours in this do not disappoint. Pretty much up there with my Ever Moment um, painting that I got. These are just gorgeous. Uh, round drills. I don't normally go for round drills. Um, so again, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Alright, let's see what's in the tool bag. The tool bag is an opaque um, Ziploc bag with oh, a clear tray. I've never had a clear tray. You can see it there. I have bags. I have hearts. I think I thought they came in um, a little container, like a lip balm container. A few spare bags, bigger than some of the spare bags that you get with some of the designers a grip and an end which looks like a three and the blue pen with the single yeah, fairly standard um, again later I will show you how I organize all of my stuff but for now I'll just pop it back in just to keep my workspace clean oh my goodness the drills Let's see, I don't see an inventory, but I do stand for correct. Sorry about the crinkling, I don't know how the crinkling sounds with my mic pick up at this stage. There's definitely no inventory within that. Let me get into the canvas. That, I have to say, the canvas actually feels quite soft and much more malleable than any other canvas and oh okay look people have raved about the canvas of diamond art club this feels like microfiber it feels um like a um those boards that you might have had in primary school for sticking fuzzy felt to it feels felty it feels the velvety that everybody raves about so yeah, there's uh, that's a pretty gorgeous canvas. I love the edging. 
can see the edging. And uh, I know I'm probably saying you, the same thing to you guys that you've heard on much more together YouTube channels than mine. Yeah, 41 colours, clear cover. I hate the clear covers. I don't know what it is. I, I just, I tear my, well, I don't tear. I actually cut my opaque cover into um, rectangles into about uh, four inches by two inches kind of size and um, I do a section at a time so I can see how I'm going. The um, canvas is so clear, the print quality is phenomenally excellent on this. I don't know if you can see or if it will zoom, it's not too bad. Um, but that is beautiful. Very, very sticky canvas. This is the poured glue method as well. It doesn't go to beyond the print area, unlike the sticky that you get on everything else with the sticky back side. So there is very little overflow. So, you know, on the other canvases that you might have you've got an excess of sticky because the sticky sheet goes out beyond it and you have to edge it with washi tape. I don't think this is even going to need washi tape. Um, that is gorgeous. It, the back of it feels beautiful. The front of it feels like a normal canvas, I guess. Uh, but the back certainly feels velvety. That is beautiful. Um, now, how am I going to do an inventory with this? What I normally do with my inventory you also get the um, store and a little bit of a how-to. Um, what I normally do with my inventories like these, um, this is typical of uh, Huacan. I found they don't do inventories, which is a little bit annoying. So I actually take the beastie into the photocopy company and um, color photocopy the um, side and I use my Xyron sticker maker to convert the number well I, I leave out the number but I have the symbol which is perfect and the DMC color which um, just adds to uh, making sure that everything is correct and I photocopy that so I don't have any errors I don't know any color changes or anything else by me trying to um, use text as or markers to make this. Um, so yep, yeah, I'll be keeping this separate so I can get it photocopied along with all my other ones that I need to get photocopied. Um, I'll probably do that this weekend. Um, I am so impressed. So we've got DMC, we've got no quantity, and I've got 41 colours to try and find. Let's see how these are labelled. 820. That's all it says and it's got the little number 8797. I guess it's got the little number 8. I know there's a reason for these. Uh, 310 is a monstrous bag. It's probably 2000 in that bag. The little one 720 and it's got a 2 on it. Um, probably a 200. So I guess I'm just going to have to go through my 41 colours and see what I've got. So um, this might be quite tricky for you and I think it's going to be quite tricky for me. Uh, okay, so 8, 820 is 23. Um, I've got a symbol and I know that that colour is in it. 310 is up here. Let's Number five, and this is the symbol, so it's a little round. Uh, 797 is an F. I wonder if it's just one bag per colour then. Um, maybe more. Um, used to uh, Diamond Art Club that you are, you'd have a better idea of this. 321 is supposed to be there. Uh, 
so six. But again, I can't mark these off, and that's a little bit frustrating. Nine three nine, my navy. Nine three nine. 814 now, I've got two bags of 814, um, okay, 814 is supposed to be here, but, mm, okay, right, I'm going to have to make a little bit more of an order for these, okay, Three one zero. Well, three one zero is five. I thought I put my fives down here. Six oh six is twelve. Twelve goes about there. Three nine three nine is twenty eight. That would probably go around about here. Nine seven nine is nineteen. That will go here. Six oh six. Oh, I say 606. 606 is 12. That goes here and that's 19. 820 is 23. That's 28. 720 is 15. 15 would go down here. 321 is 6. Goes up top. I order them in, in the columns of 5. 153, so that would go there. 977 seven is 32, that would go up there somewhere. No, nope, after the 939. 814 is 21, that can go up top. 601 is 11, that will go up top. 957 is 31, that will go up top. It might seem like um, a bit of a pain. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get a pen to tick and flick these. 890 is 25. That will go down the bottom. I might move these over just a little bit. 327 is 7. Go there. 400 is 8. That will go next to that. Got a couple of very similar looking blues. I'm taking a punt that they're the same. They're not. 3844. 3844. These are 3845. They go with those. 3844 is 38. 3845 will be next, which will be 39. Another 310. Another 310. 3844, these look like 9954, 99935, which will go down there somewhere. This does actually come together. 957, I haven't got out. 957 is 31, so, oh yes, I do. I have got that. 720. Is 15. 720 I've already got out. 844 is 24. That's 20. That's okay. 820 must go that direction. Okay. It's kind of the beauty of having them in number order as well. All right. 758. 18. It's going to go there. 19, 22, I think that's a 945, so I have got 945, that's 29, so we'll go down the bottom, alright, 956, 30, that will go down the bottom, okay, 7, 20, Yep, 15, got a couple of those, 3846, we'll go after 3847 and that's 40, or 3845 I mean, gosh numbers, 956 we've got, green 906, there's a little 4 next to it so I know which way around it goes, 906 is going to go up there, 
606 again with the 2 is handy. 3705. 3705 is 35. Why do I have to go in here? Why have I got a 995? I'm going to be blocking my inventory list. 995, oh, we'll have a look over at the other side. Is 34. Five one nine is nine nine seven seven. I think they're up here somewhere. Seven twenty we've got. Seven twenty, seven twenty. Anyone for seven twenty? Orange going blind. Alright. Three eight one one. Thirty six. 400 we've got, 321 we've got, I know the screen, 890, mustard 743, it's in there, 956, 720, 7, Four one we'll go in here. One sixteen. One four three. Okay, one three zero. Is over the first one. Just move my T out of the way. Five five zero. Here's ten. Six four seven thirteen three eight four five. We've got a few of those. Nine nine one is thirty three. Eight twenty six zero oh one. We've got eight one four. All the big ones. Eight twenty. We've got another one. 3846, just getting a couple of those now. 3830, here. 166, number 4. 150, we've got. 995, we've already got. 3846. 819, there's a bit of a stray brown with the creamy colour. 819. Go on. 130, as it said, dead beads there, that's been caught in the um, heat sealing process. 130. Oh, this is interesting. The 130, I've got two. This one has five on the side, and this one has four, so they're different quantities. I have seen this orange, 743. Red, 321. It's more like a cherry. Uh, 906. Oops. We've got 819, 991, 3705, 701, 7. Oh, I haven't got a 701 yet. Oh, there might be another one. 701. Again, this is different. This one's got a 2. This one I just put down has 4. Five two zero zero. That is white, and that is the very last. All right, there's the last couple of bags. Out. Seven five eight. Already got one there. Eight nine eight. Go here. Seven nine nine. We haven't got any yet. 799 is 20. Okay, I know my numbers are not in order. I normally do a little bit easier with inventory. Oh, these are the ABs. Uh, 128 is really, really good to see. 128. So here's the beginning. 995 we've already got. 
again these are different sizes so I've got a two I've got a four and I've got a one no it's a seven two four and seven and then three eight three zero which will go with that one okay I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I might get lost, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, so I've got all 41 colours, but I don't know if I've got enough. Now, I'm trusting that Diamond Art Club are giving out enough diamonds for the kit. Um, looking at my diamonds, the only ones I'm actually seeing that have that awesome AB sheen are these two. Everything else seems to be, <laughs> uh, for want of a better term, boring. By comparison, ABs are just incredible. It's like they've put an extra sticky glitter thing on the fattest bit of the facets on the diamonds. I'm not going to be able to show you this in um, close up, I don't think, properly, but you can see how they shine even within the packet. Um, whereas these just look like boring bits of plastic by comparison. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun doing these. Oh, there's another stray. There's a little pink in with the green. Well, they're all here, colour-wise. Um, and yeah, it remains to be seen as to whether or not they're all going to be here when I actually get around to doing them. So that's I Miss You. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole screen, but I will try and take a picture of the canvas completely flat um, and uh, yeah, but at least I've got all the um, colours accounted for and um, that's the first one. There's two more to go. So if you um, want to see The Shepherd's Cottage or you want to see Gator Swamp, um, please tune in to my next videos so you can see me do that. Um, I will try, seeing as I now know how the inventory works, I will try and speed that bit up or I might just pause and take a picture like this when I've got it sorted. Um, and um, yes, welcome to my adventure with Diamond Art Club. The shipping um, Diamond Art Club was ordered on I think the 5th of March, it's now the uh, 22nd. It said it should have been here by the 16th of March. Um, it's coming to Tasmania, so unfortunately Tasmania seems to add days. It got to Melbourne on the 18th, and if I'm if I was on the ma mainland, I probably would have got it sooner than I did, um, arriving on the 21st. But because I'm down on Little Old Tassie and it's another plane ride away, then I've had to wait for an extra couple of days. So I'm glad I got it on my days off from work. I've got to go to work tomorrow. This isn't going to be one I'm going to be starting immediately because I'm in the middle of a huacan, um, what I call Daisy Lake, which is mossy greens and it's going so slowly. But um, this will get me inspired. I also have a ton of stash that I can go through, but um, yes, the decision will come in the future as to what I will do next. But this is gorgeous. I will so look forward to doing this. I've got to make sure I store it correctly. And I might talk about storage in my next video of how I actually keep my canvases. Although um, I don't think the Diamond Art Club canvases are going to be treated any more differently than any of my other canvases. But because I have to photocopy the inventory um, down the side, I will be um, storing it separately until I get that copy done and then I'll be able to put it into my storage system for an ongoing period. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, as I said, this is part one. There are going to be two more 
to go and um, I hope you can join me. Thanks for watching. Bye.